Hello, I'm Kelly from Push to Expert. We first reviewed the Oyster 3 by Babystar back in 2018 when it took the pushchair market by storm. This storm has been gathering momentum ever since and we thought it was about time to get our hands on this popular travel system again to see whether it still had the DNA to wow parents with its upgrades. There are a number of ways of purchasing the Oyster 3, ranging from the pushchair on its own to full travel system bundles. These bundles make pushchair shopping for parents really easy. Just pick the bundle that you want rather than having to trail through lots of accessories individually. We are reviewing their luxury package, which is their middle option and includes a pushchair, carry cot, rain covers, foot muff, changing bag, car seat adapters, eye size oyster capture infant carrier and Geofix Isofix space. There really is everything that you'll need, but if you want to upgrade to their ultimate package, you get some nice added extras such as seat liner, parasol and cup holder to really give you everything you need and more. The Oyster 3 is easy to put together, although you may find the comprehensive instructions useful if this is the first chipper's chair you've put together. We've been sent the Oyster 3 in Moon on the new polished grey chassis, but there are a number of colour options available. Babystyle are also known to launch new colours or special editions throughout the year, an element that we love, I meaning there's an option to suit everyone. Even if your friend also has an Oyster 3, there's a high chance that it'll have a different colour to you anyway. The new polished grey chassis is stunning. It's a high end finish to it and is eye catching without being in your face. There's an Oyster logo where the handle joins the main chassis, which has a circular and shiny outline to match the shiny finish on the wheels. The Oyster 3 is a four wheel stroller. Each wheel has five spokes in dark grey, whilst the rims are a shiny black finish, adding to the upmarket feel of the most recent Oyster 3 launch. All four wheels are a decent size, suggesting that this stroller will fare well in the towns and cities, but also work well across the park too. The back wheels are 28 centimetres and easily removable by pressing the centre of the wheel to release. The front swivel wheels are 19 centimetres and again easily removable by pressing the button located behind the wheel fixing. If you're crossing rougher terrain and need to lock your front wheels, you can lock both wheels in one easy movement by sliding the leader located at the front of the chassis under the footrest. This really is very quick and simple to do, and as your hands are well away from the wheels, your fingers should remain clean too. The tyres are made from a mixture of PU and EVA to give a smooth ride across multiple terrains. In addition, there's a decent amount of suspension on all four wheels of the Oyster 3, but in particular at the back to aid curb hopping and ensure a smooth ride for your little one. The Oyster 3 pushes well across multiple terrains, and in our opinion is a great option for normal family days out whether you're shopping in town or meeting friends in the park. At the rear of the chassis you'll find the brake, an easy on-off motion by pressing the pedal, so flip-flop friendly. The front of the chassis is a usual foot plate, so a metal finish to it with the Oyster logo imprinted into it, along with rubber strips to aid grip for your little one. The basket on the Oyster 3 is a practical colour of black. If we had to be critical, it would be nice to see corresponding with the colour of the fabrics. The basket is of a really decent size and will hold up to 3 kilos of baby essentials. The useful pocket at the front, perfect to store a spare nappy and wipes or even your rain cover. Our only niggle with the basket is the rather large Oyster 3 wording on it and we would have liked it to be more subtle and in keeping with the rest of the pushchair. The basket is practical and easily accessible whether you're using a carry cart or seat. The handle on the Oyster 3 is covered in a black leatherette with dimpled finish. Soft and padded to touch and be comfortable on the hands even if you're pushing for long periods of time. The black finish on the handle corresponds to the finish on the bumper bar when you're using the seat unit. The handle has four height adjustments ranging from 102 to 111 centimetres, more than adequate for the shorter or taller people amongst us. On either side of the handle are two attachments which you can use to hang your Oyster 3 backpack from. The Oyster 3 is safety tested from birth up to 22 kilos, meaning it might be the only pushchair you ever need as it will last right up to toddlerhood and when your little one no longer need a pushchair. The seat on the Oyster 3 can be either world or parent face and it's incredibly easy to swap over. We love the fact that the pushchair can also be folded with the seat in both directions. Located beneath the seat material is a handle of webbing, which when pulled up releases the seat from the chassis. Clever, simple and user friendly. The seat on the Oyster 3 can be used from birth. we found that most people opt for the carry cot for the first six months or use the seat in conjunction with the carry cot depending on what they're doing. For some with limited space it will help that the carry cot doesn't have to be used. If you're using the seat unit from birth, we'd always recommend that this is parent facing to so have a good view of your newborn. Any child, whether a newborn or a toddler, must use the harness. This is a little tricky for a newborn as initially they are so small and curled up. 
The lay flat position of the Oyster 3 is almost 108 degrees, optimum for a newborn and a lover position compared to some other push chairs which are suitable to use from birth. When used in conjunction with a foot muff during those colder months, this does result in a nice snug area for your baby. However, one that during the summer months, the sides of the seat are quite open, so your baby will be exposed to the elements. To alter the recline of the seat, there's a lever on the back. There are three recline positions in both the world and parent facing positions. As well as the most reclined being suitable for newborns, it would be equally comfortable for a sleeping toddler. The footrest is also adjustable to three positions by depressing the buttons on either side. In addition, you can pop the underneath up to give the little ones and legs a completely flat position. There's also a handy little pocket beneath the footrest, just big enough for your phone and keys should you need it. The harness is superbly designed and the recent phase of the Oyster 3 sees a clever magnetic harness included across the range. To undo the harness, squeeze together the two light grey sections. Have to admit this is quite stiff, but having had two Houdini toddlers, this isn't a bad thing. Once you've released the front part of the harness, the straps can easily be pulled apart in two sections. To do the harness up again, simply ensure that you've slid the waist harness part onto the shoulder straps and put both sides together, and then place the buckle over the top. The strong magnets will snap it into place. Genius. As well as the clever design of the buckle, the Oyster 3 maintains its clever adjustable harness system. No three threading of your harness needed as your little one grows. At the base of the hood you'll find two buttons. Press these in and pull the hood up or down and it simultaneously moves the harness and the hood, giving you four different height options. We absolutely love this feature as you see it literally grows with your child, allowing for more headroom as they get taller. Almost all push chairs now come with a bumper bar, so we're pleased to see the Oyster 3 bumper bar is included. It's finished in a leatherette which matches the handlebar and has both swivel and gate opening to place your child. The fabrics on the Oyster 3 really are lovely. The latest release of the Oyster 3 saw a slight change in the fabrics. We have the Moon Cooler way in for review and this is a light grey marl. The fabrics are sponge wash if you need to, although we would envision that most light soiling will simply rub off with a baby wipe. The integral headrest is particularly soft and padded. The rest of the fabrics are less soft but durable and very practical, just what parents need. The canopy has two sections in its original form, but you can insert the third section to make this larger covering for your little one. The canopy has an ample size, UPF 50 plus, and has a pop-out visor to offer more protection. The back section can be folded back to reveal a ventilation window, which is a nice and necessary touch on hot days. The Oyster 3 includes a rain cover of the seat unit and the carry cot, and they're usefully labeled so that you don't get them mixed up. The majority of people will buy the Oyster 3 as part of a bundle and this includes a carry cot. A carry cot is in our eyes the optimum place for a baby to be for those initial months. A big plus point for this carry cot is that you can use it for overnight sleeping. It's also perfect as a downstairs sleeping option for traveling the first six months and one that your baby is hopefully used to sleeping in during the day. It's easy to fit the carry cot to the chassis and even easier to remove. To remove, hold the carry cot by the handle with one hand and with the other pull the handle that is at the head of the carry cot just below the hood and lift. On the underside of the carry cot you'll notice curved runners which allow you to gently rock the carry cot whilst it's on the floor. However, as your baby gets older and starts moving more in the carry cot, there are four feet, one in each corner which can flip out to make the base stable. The hood on the carry cot matches the apron whilst the base of the carry cot is black. The hood comes to 90 degrees and sits neatly whether it's folded down or in the upright position. To fold, simply depress the buttons on either side and the hood moves silently, so no risk of waking a sleeping baby. At the base of the hood, you have the option to pull the fabrics up to reveal a ventilation window. Although not secured with magnets, the fabric is quite tight, so it still maintains the shape of the carry cot and nice lines, even with the ventilation area on show. The foot of the carry cot is covered by a zip-on apron, which pops in place on either side. The apron is a soft material and is substantially lined to ensure no drafts for your newborn. The apron also curves upwards, allowing your baby lots of kicking space. An element that we love is it also looks aesthetically pleasing. The Oyster 3 is one of the easiest folds available for a push chair this size. You can fold it with or without the seat unit on. You do have to remove the carry cot or car seat if you're using this option. To fold the chassis, just lower the handle to its lowest position and pull the two triggers on the underside of the chassis. Push the handle forward, then push on the frame until the front wheels roll backwards to meet the rear wheels and the chassis will close and automatically lock. The chassis will also self-stand. To 
To unfold, stand behind the pushchair and release the locking clip by pulling it away from the frame, lift the handle and flick the wheels out in front of you. Once practiced, this will become a seamless manoeuvre. To fold with the seat world facing, it's exactly the same apart from you to use a recline lever on the back of the seat to flip the seat forwards first. There's a carry handle on the back of the seat to carry everything. To fold with the seat parent facing, use the recline lever on the back of the seat, pull up and flip the seat forwards, and then move the whole seat back to the front wheels. Then follow the same steps again. The most popular way of purchasing the Lucifer 3 is in the Luxury Bundle, where you also get a number of accessories. Their bundles offer items that parents would have otherwise potentially bought separately, so buying as a bundle makes it more cost effective. The foot muff comes in the corresponding colour to match your pushchair and backpack changing bag. There's a hole on the back so that fits neatly around the head support, and you have to thread the straps and crotch straps through the corresponding holes. The foot muff certainly sits nicely in the seat unit and looks great. The material is thick, padded and is lined with a super soft velour. The base of the foot muff on the inside, the velour is replaced with a very practical white clean surface. The front of the foot muff has a lip which you can either lift up to snuggle your little one even more or you can put it around the bumper bar. There's a magnet on either side to secure it in place. The front of the foot muff can be unzipped and removed completely, leaving you with a pushchair liner, which is an element we found most useful. The Usta 3 bundles have always included a basic messenger style changing bag previously, so we're so pleased that the latest Oyster 3 pushchair is now a backpack. The backpack can be used on your back as you would expect, or you can hang it on your pushchair chassis using the two plastic hooks situated just below the leatherette handlebar. We love the styling of the new Oyster 3 backpacks. There's a decent sized pocket with leatherette Oyster detail on the front, big enough for your phone, purse, keys and a spare dummy or two. The opening to the main backpack is very large and inside is fully lined with white clean polyester, so super practical and comes with a decent sized padded and white clean changing mat. There are also two useful netted pockets inside. Since the launch of the Baby Style Oyster 3 a few years ago, we've always been pleased that within the bundles they decided to include an eye size R129 car seat that makes the latest set of car seat regulations. The capsule is suitable from 40 to 85 centimetres and it should last your baby until they reach between 12 and 15 months old. It has a weight limit of 13 kilos as well, which should also be taken into consideration. The seat comes with a fair amount of padding, including substantial padding and support around the head, and the main insert will come out when your little one reaches approximately 60 centimetres, which will allow them to sit further back in the seat as they grow. The harness is adjustable, just squeeze the light grey button on the back and you can move the harness to the required position. The capsule can be either belted in the car or you use the Oyster DuoFix Isofix base, which is included with your bundle. It's easy to fasten in the car using the seat belt, but always read the instructions very carefully before doing so, of course. When installing with the base, simply fix the axe fix arms until you see the green indicator and drop the support leg to the floor, again looking out for the green indicator. One point to mention is the handle should always be in the forward position when using the car, which means you can't use the hood while travelling. The capsule infant carrier is easy to fit on the chassis of your pushchair in conjunction with the car seat adapters. Just load it carefully onto the adapters and push down until you hear an audible click. To remove, press down on the two grey buttons on either side of the seat and lift away. As well as the Oyster capsule, the adapters can be used with various seats from other brands, including Peg Perego, Maxi Cozy, Cybex, Be Safe and Britax. The Oyster 3 stroller bundles offer parents everything they need to transport a baby from A to B. The essential, luxury and ultimate bundles even include the car seat and base. Babystyle really have thought of everything and their comprehensive bundle options team with a sought after product at a good price makes considering the Oyster 3 a no-brainer for lots of parents. We love the regular changes in fabrics to help make you stand out from the crowd with a pushchair that's already incredibly popular amongst parents. The subtle changes to the Oyster 3, including the upgraded fabrics and revolutionary harness, give parents the reassurance that Babystyle is a brand they can trust to develop their pushchairs to attempt to stay one step ahead of the competition. We suspect that the Oyster 3 strollers, especially when in a bundle, remain a firm favourite with parents for some time. We give the Babystyle Oyster 3 5 out of 5 stars. Head over to pushtoexpert.com to read our full review.